How now, brown cow? Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And we are back with another Patreon pick uh, from our patron, Amy F. Thank you for your support, Amy. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for being here and uh, picking this song. We were listening to Tommy Castro for the first time on the channel. Apparently he is a uh, very, I guess, on the East Coast famous like blues singer. Uh, he's been around since the 90s. The track we're going to be listening to is called Somewhere. It was a lead single for his album from 2021, which was called uh, Blues Man Comes to Town. It was like a concept album, basically. Uh, this is, like I said, the first single, and that's all I could find, really. Um, not much info on it on Wikipedia or anything like that, but I did find some excerpts about this man's playing. <laughs> da -na -na. I wanted to say something nice about him. Where is it? Um, oh, if you close your eyes, you will be convinced that you are listening to Ois Redding singing in 1967. Tremendous. Uh, that was Tom Callahan of Blurt. And then, according to the Chicago Sun-Times, Memphis soul-drenched R&B, top-of-the-line blues. You got me there. I'm good. Let's go. If y'all are not subscribed, please help the brother out. Click that icon right below my face. I really appreciate it. Takes like two seconds. It's absolutely free. There's usually no flashing. What the fuck that was? See, now me creeped out. All right, here we go. Tommy Castro. Somewhere. Three, two, one. Hit it. I love it. 
well, other than the AI generated video, <laughs> I really, really like that actually. Um, if you had told, if I didn't see the video and like I couldn't hear the production in it as well as I did, you could have fooled me and said that was from like the 70s or the 60s or something, you know. Uh, definitely had a very soulful voice, the very blues oriented vocals, man. He's got like the perfect voice for that, he really does. Um, the guitar, the licks were so good, man. Definitely was a blues, just every, it was just dripping in blues. No wonder it's called a, yeah, an odyssey of blues. Definitely, man. <laughs> I kind of want to know the story more about it. I know they said it's about like, um, young boy has blues dreams, wants to be a musician and leaves his hometown to find that his treasure was at home waiting this whole time, which as cliche as that sounds, uh, it's very true. So what happens most of the time, you know, you'll just go out and, uh, you know, want everything else, you know, every, the greener pastures, but then you get to said, uh, greener pastures and you look back and you're like, ah, shit, what did I do? You know, <laughs> I hate when that happens. So I just gotta be learned to be content with things. Obviously you gotta move yourself and progress and be better every day, but some people try to move too much. And like I was talking about in one of the other videos today, um, if you're watching Day of Premiere, uh, I don't want to miss any of my, you know, it's hard. You're going to miss some of the children's memories. You're not going to be, especially in my situation when I'm not there. Um, but I try to be as much as I can, you know, and it's just, I don't know. It's crazy how much people will want something else. You know, they always want more or something different and they just never are grateful for what they have. And I've been doing a gratitude list every morning. Because, like, when I feel myself slipping into, like, a depression where I'm, like, really anxious about things and stuff like that, um, the gratitude list, <laughs> Oprah was right, man. That shit definitely does work. Um, I don't write it down. I just say it out loud in the shower usually. And I go through a whole list. I saw someone say, if you woke up tomorrow morning and all you had was what you said, thank you for the day before, or what you said you were grateful for the day before, what would you have? <laughs> and that really did change a lot of thinking in my brain because that really I really thought about it I wouldn't have shit if I you know what I'm saying <laughs> I always you know pray and you know I, I, I say thank you for a lot of things but I don't say it as much as I should you know especially for you guys uh people who've been here since the beginning or you know who have tagged along the way thank you for being here I really appreciate it um the music's been great uh the people have been even better it's been so nice meeting you guys and conversating and learning all that I can about the past and even the present, maybe in the future, you know, um, like I said, I'm just trying to learn, trying to be a better man, better father, better person every day. And this music helps, man. And I'm very interested in listening to uh, his uh, kind of blues odyssey. That sounds interesting because I love concept albums. I'm a big prog head, but I've never heard a blues like concept album or an odyssey as he puts it i think that's very interesting so uh amy if you want to pick another song from this next month or pick something different uh, i'm down for either man because i really enjoyed that uh, i love the harmonica the drummer in this was great i don't have any names i couldn't find a list uh for this album there is no like there's a citation for it but there's no way to click on it so i don't know who it is uh all i know is tommy castro but i thought Ta <laughs> tommy did great i'm gonna call him tammy tommy did great in this uh the guitars are great i love the harmonica too whoever did that the vocals are really good this is great blues all around like i said you could uh put a blindfold over me and i guess some earplugs too because I, uh, the production gives it away but some parts you could have fooled me and told me that was like a 1969, 1972 blues track or something like that. I definitely could believe it. Definitely has a lot of soul to it. And um, I'm intrigued to hear more. So thank you, Amy, for that. That was really good. Hope you all enjoyed that. We love the blues on this channel. We love all genres as long as it's good. I don't care what the fuck it is. Like I said, it could be prog country. I don't care. If it's good, it's good. And I think that is it out of me, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed that. If you all don't know, we have a Patreon right there. That is a picture. There's a link in the description. Join the $15 tier or up and you get to one free request a month. You only got two more days, maybe one more day, whenever I post this, I guess, maybe two more days to join and still get a request for March and April. Um, if you join within, I guess, six days to the end of the month, um, you have to just roll over into the next month, basically. Uh, i got to give myself a buffer time to make sure I get everyone's stuff done in an orderly fashion, which I think I'm almost done. I only have a handful left to do anyway, but... You never know. 
Um, if you join any of the tiers, you get access to all of the block content, all the album reactions, full album reactions to the Beatles, Jethro Tull. Um, what else is there? Right. There's some Zappa stuff that was blocked. Tons of King Crimson. Uh, we got a lot of stuff on there. And all the block content is anything that's on YouTube that is not allowed on there. It goes right on Patreon. So it's a great place to be. We have a great community. We have a Discord server. If you're into that, you want to chat and hang out with everybody and see what's going on. Um, we have one of those as well. We'd love to have you. Uh, there's also a PayPal link in the description for tips, requests, and anything else as well. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see y'all later. Be safe out there, man.